Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the epilogue video for TNO. Of course, I'm your host, Harry Mocha Lover, and this is the aftermath of Mr. Hadrish, or Hail Hadrish, going bye bye, we'll put it like that. So, as many of you guys put in the comments of the last video, you wanted to see the third German Civil War. So, I figured, you know what, there's enough support for it, we might as well show it, right? So, here we are. I'm playing as an observer nation, and let's go to see conflicts. War. Well, it's called war. We have the French Picard War between basically the ultra nationalist French versus the French state, as well as just the war between, well, the two Reichs. So, 60 divisions, 69, 24, four, uh, 12. They're fairly equal in strength, roughly equal, so we'll see what happens. And, this, and of course, Africa's on fire, but you know what else is new? So, here we go. We're playing as, as I said, the ZZZ nation, or just anarchists. And actually, before we let things go on, let's see. The French state. Led by Pierre Pujade. We have Nouvelle Etat Française, Christian de la Mazera. Then we have in the Deutsche Reich, Hans Speidel, and the Gross Germanische Reich, Gila. So basically, Gila and Speidel kind of are two guys who are working together. They basically said, you know what? Screw this. We're going to kill each other off. So, just a little um, epilogue to what we've been doing. Actually, who's in Bohemia and Moravian? Meren. Von Krosik. Cool. So let's see what happens. Okay, does general government declare one of the Reich as well? Okay. Oh, and both. And Westfalen. Oh, okay. Cool. And now uh, everyone is coming back out again to see. And this is a German anarchy, so. And Leon de Grel. Actually, he's okay. He's not at war with anybody. He's just kind of hanging out. He has literally his own Belgium. He finally got his own Belgium after 20 years. After some 20 years. And Eriksson, but Eriksson. And we have, of course, Casimirs again. Westfalen has popped back out. That's cool. Led by Klingenberg once again, and let's see what happens. I kind of want to—I'm kind of rooting for the French state just to see what would happen. They own both sides of Paris. Now, is someone else going to pop out? And the general government is led by the Interim Regierung. Oh, oh Berserker Freikorps wanted to pop out, but they immediately died. Followed up with what? With whom? Oh. Hey, and we already saw the Vlamis Vassims. These dudes. Dutch peoples. Oh! Freisen's out! And Arsha Volksfront. And pretty much all the warlords that we had before with Hadrish, well, they're popping back out again. Oh, look at that! Arsha Volksfront took over all of Bohemia and Maren. Or Boh Bohemian and Maren. Maren. Uh, oh, God. Is Durant's back? Oh, Carl's back. Carl's back. Uh, this is a German anarchy. Holy crud. Actually, it's a German sovereignty zone over there. German sovereign zone. Oh. Um. Nuremberg is back, of course. Led by Kalten Brunner. Kalten Brunner. Galen. We have Feldmeier. So, Liebenstandard Heinrich Himmler is led by Monk. Again. Well, I mean, you can call yourself Heinrich Himmler, but he's dead. Odenstadt Lothringen. Beautiful. Actually, who's leading the government of Krim? Nice flag, Theodore Hoffman. I wonder where he got the inspiration for that one. This is a mess. Oh, yeah. Henry comes over there. So, are these guys fighting? Ooh. Nuremberg is gone. Yes, they are fighting everyone else. Okay. Deutsche Reich, Arisha Volksfront. Uh... Preussen. Oh, there goes Oberschnitz Westfalen. Deutsches Reich. This is looking, This is such a giant mess. Oh, wait. Belgian National Order. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have anarchy. Okay. So this was one of the comments left by someone in the last video, that final video. Um, anarchy is coming. Oh, I assume it's because as someone said they're launching maybe nukes around at each other. It's thinking of the oh, uh oh, Aro Aoba Maru. Yep, you're right. It's all nuki. The French state are losing. Wow. No manpower. One to three divisions versus these guys who have no. 
Oh, and also, your enemies have no divisions, so. Look through the Deutsches Reich is doing pretty well. Against Sp Wait, Galen is leading Deutsches Reich. I demolish my bridges behind me, and then there's no choice but to move forward. And so we go. Okay. So no matter what, we're literally going to have... All over some shrimp. Oh boy. I was doing going to do this video for the German anarchy, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, they're fighting in L.A., Port of L.A. I, oh, oh God, it's lagging so hard. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this anarchy. Oh, look. The general government still exists for now. Deutsches Reich is holding on. Angrufa Steiner is still here. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for the nukes to fly in America now. Oh, boy. Even more lag. What's going on? Oh, Germania. Oh, look at that. Germania still exists. Galen has been successful. Surrounded by... Never mind. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. This place gets nuked. Ooh. Eh. Okay, so you, you guys were right. There is the German anarchy. Of, no, t third civil war. But now I'm more interested in seeing what happens to America and Japan. There's a lot in the... Oh, man. We gotta see this. French Picard War, of course. So, French will lose. The Jap... Oh, it's the Japanese Third World War. Okay, this is called the Third World War, so the Japanese-Italian War. They lost a lot of guys, actually. Wow, the OFN is doing pretty darn well. The United States is in here, though, but yeah. And no one cares about them. Yeah, let's see what happens. 7,000. Do we get anything else? Because that's a sad Germany. At this point, I mean, I, someone else would be doing something here, right? Like, if I was in the Commonwealth of England, like, I'd be like, whoa, they, they died? Actually, they're in the OFN, too. Actually, there's a lot of people in the OFN. There's a lot of people. The Commonwealth of England, all of Italy and our allies, puppets, and Australia, New Zealand. That's not bad. So, are nukes supposed to be flying yet, or when can we go to, like, just kill each other mode? And, of course, America is still led by Wallace, but the, un ooh, the unthinkable. Where's the unthinkable? This is more the social reforms. Oh, is it over here? Oh, oh. The unthinkable. Naval invasion crash course. God bless America. Scramble the Air Force. The Emergency Procurement Naval Act. Implement war bonds. Reinforce the triad. Wait. Indiana and Maine. Get four more air... I, I can sort of understand Maine, because it's on the East Coast, but Indiana's... In the Midwest, like, whatever. Alright, so, hopefully something happens. Because they, they do have nuclear war. And actually, let's take a look at the boats, hold on. Let's see the ship count if we can. Our moments. Ikeda? Oh, Ikeda. That's a lot of boats. 288 to 598? Holy crap. Versus, that's a lot of ships. So, maybe this is it? Are they going to actually nuke each other? Because we have World War Three, but I guess we're going to wait and see. 26,000 losses, 146,000. They must be just sinking a lot of convoys off. Because I'm waiting for, like, things to go kaboom. Of course, then again, they did have divisions over here. That's why there's so many stuff, so many things over here happened in the port of L.A. A lot of manpower loss. So maybe they'll invade them. But you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go off screen and see what happens, and we'll be right back together. All right, everyone, so it's not that much, uh, you know, ahead of time where we left off. But I did notice that Australia and New Zealand have both been invaded by the Empire of Japan. Now, this is definitely an epilogue that I was not expecting with America and uh, the Empire of Japan going to war with each other. So, civilian austerity. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Go in and cut them, I guess. Whatever. Oh! Wait. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's a little bit more action here. It is only 1967, so... Now, will Wales join the co-prosperity sphere? Maybe. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Maybe the devs have thought of it so that the Wales or people in Europe can't join, but, um... Oh, no. Other factions around the world. The dragon transpires. That looks so cool as a national spirit. But anyways, 
The I would hate to be. Yeah, the New Zealanders are doing okay. The Australians. Oof. Come on, please show us some nukes. They took out Sydney. Good lord, that's. It's not very good. He's a uh, liberal democracy led by Harold Holt. Let's see the ledger. Why don't they have any. Australia? Why don't you have any divisions? I mean, look at Japan. They've got a lot of manpower and a lot of divi. What happened to their divisions? Ichigo? Oh no. Oh wait. Oh, they actually have a focus tree too. Oh, we can't zoom out. Okay. I can't. This is very glitch. I can't tug over the focus tree to see what's going on. Ichigo. Uh, okay. Preparations for the military campaign against the U.S. Dealing with the uprisings. Hidari Yoho Giri. We'll cross through Mexico? Oh, they go to war with Mexico. Or through Canada. Oh, man. Secure the Western approaches. Crank up production. Tighten the screws. Kyojin no Ochi. Whoa. That's plus 12.5% more attack. That's pretty good. Clip their wings. Oh, there goes Australia. Total mobilization. Wow. And... Yoshai say yok Kei. Oh, and that one French group defeated the French state. The sun will never sit upon the Japanese Empire. Okay. This is a little curse. I've never seen this happen before in any campaign. Actually, who? These gotta be Americans who ended down here. Or Aussies. Or Aussies. Not Aussies. They just were taken out. New Zealanders. Wow. And Germany's, of course, still in here. This really turned into something different than what I initially expected when I was making this video. I thought this was gonna be a nice little short video, but... George Wallace? You know it's a weird world when you have to look to George Wallace as the leader of the free world against the fight of a th tyranni tyrannical government of the Empire of Japan. This is a little nuts. Let's go look at this. Japanese-English War. Okay, Third World War. 151,000 losses. Italian Empire. Kingdom of Burma. Or Kingdom of Thailand, I mean. No... F oh, come... Do they... Do they leave? They're still fighting, huh? They must have created their own new nation, which wasn't in effect, and then they go to Mexico. I mean, that's looking pretty good for the OFN, even though the OFN isn't doing really great. Empire of Vietnam is in with them. Oh, wait, is India here? India's not. What they need is India in the OFN. Oh, man. Yeah, Republic of India. Yeah, if you could join the OFN. Wow, look at him. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but I'm going to say CR. Look at those glasses. Holy cow, that looks so cool. Man. I do want to see, like, this happen. Ho Shai Sei Yao Kai. I want to see that happen. So, we might have to pull a few strings here and there to see if uh, the Gibraltar Dam is done. If the Americans can actually invade the Japanese home isles. How we try to see how strong the American Navy would be, but... They've only 7,000 manpower. Are you kidding me? George Wallace, what are you doing? 400? Like, when he... Before he faded out, he had, like, over 500, didn't he? But then again, our intel isn't super great. Um, well then. So the Japanese actually invade Mexico? How strong is Mexico? Led by Raul Salinas Lozano. No convoys. No divisions. Well, maybe they have no divisions because the devs maybe put it like that just so that we could run the game as fast as possible, maybe? And Japanese English War, 66. They're still losing guys. So many factories. But so are the Americans, because I'm, I'm I'm assuming they're fighting down here. They've got to be fighting down here. It's got to be the Americans. Hmm. Quarter million. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We saw... Oh, they died. So here's what we're going to do. We might actually have a time lapse on our hands then. In which... We'll see. <gasps> Wait, hold on. The Americans got back Hawaii. You know what? Maybe I won't do time lapse. Just because we... We might need to see every single little event until there's a period where nothing happens. Because the Americans took Hawaii. They most likely navally invaded because when you're at war with your you know enemy, they usually just don't give you islands. Or give you... Okay, well, there goes New Zealand. Led by Keith Holyoke. 
No divisions, of course, like Australia. Actually, no, they've won to three, but they have no manpower and no factories. Now, I know New Zealand is small and all, but... Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh! Oh, there goes Caucasian. Caucasus Anarchy. Oh, we didn't even look at this guy. That'd be really cool if they had, like, some sort of, sort of secret secret focus tree here, where you actually still win. Now, from my understanding for the German Anarchy stuff, during the Civil War, you might get... Oh, there goes New Zealand. Um, someone here might eventually get some content, like a focus tree for, like, Spidel, maybe. Probably not Gila, but maybe Spidel, so... We'll see what happens. And, of course, all that matters is that we get more growth. How do we get 106 billion growth? Or GDP, whatever. Zimbabwe's on fire, but, you know, whatever. What else is new? Um, yeah, they took those guys out. Good job, Africa. Looks like there's a few more naval battles going on. No intel on this combat. Now, they have these... The Americans have, what is this? The Hawaii Shoto? Chukang? Hawaii, basically. There's more naval battles going on. God, I wish we could see this war. Uh, I don't really want to get involved here. I'm not sure why Mexico would not join, or even the Commonwealth of England and Wales rejoin the OFN. But I don't think the devs really planned this one out too far, just because I've got other things that focus on besides the Third German Civil War, and then America and the Japanese Empire of Japan going to war over a shrimp boat incident. The Red Twilight? If you'd like to read about the Red Twilight, go right ahead. But we're not really seeing too much happening right now. These islands are still... Well, oh, well, hold on. The Americans are slowly doing an island hopping campaign, it looks like. And actually, when is Russia going to reunify? Uh, good, 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 good. Empire of Japan, eh? Man, I really thought this was going to be a short video. Crank up production. Yeah. Maybe there's more political power. Way more factory output. Hey, happy 1968, everyone. The Germans, Reich is, well, they're completely dead. Someone owns a French Burgundian state here. The sideburns are kind of weird, man. And what else is going on? Not much else, really. I've never seen Germany so unhappy. <laughs> Did we get that tile yet? No. So, America, George Wallace, go ahead and keep mobilizing the army. Hopefully, he can't do any of this stuff just because there probably has. To, yeah. All is not well, so they're forced to go down this way. For two years, you get more mobilization speed, entrenchment speed, and speed division. Um. I mean, that's partially what mobilizing the army does, but would you not get any more population? I'd imagine you get more population. Also, off screen, I did get some more coffee, so, man, my hand is hot for holding the cup. Come on, America. Please don't tell me you lost a lot of ships, America. Please, 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 please. Or this is going to get really boring. Implement war bonds. Oh, those are nice. Why do you have no manpower? I think we've got to create an agency just so that we can see what's going on. Japan, how are you holding up? Well, they have 300-some ships. Did we... Hum. They have plenty of fuel. Like, how do they have over half a million, over 600,000 soldiers, but America has none? Massive stockpile. Independence for the UAE. Well, they're not going to enjoy that independence for very long. 237, 121, 237, 221, 36 dockyards. You have 97. Come on, guys, do something. The Georgian Socialist Republic. Well, I mean, oh, they took another island. I just want to see them get through their focus tree first and then see what happens. Because we need to see the Americans invade Japan, tighten the screws. And of course, implementing war bonds. There's more. There's. A, I'm sure at this point, the major naval battles, most of them have already occurred. So. Any other places here? I mean, they're slowly moving in, maybe. Wow. Well, let's make another one just so because it's gonna take some time for us to do all this stuff. Oh, do we have any civilian factories? Oh, cryptology, whoops, my bad. Oh well, whatever. Avaria. Cool, so you know what, at this point I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens. And we'll probably see America maybe maybe invade Japan. Maybe, maybe not. But I'll see you when 
this war has progressed a, quite a bit farther down the road. Okay, everyone, so here we're at. It is now March 22nd, 1970, in which, of course, Germany is still kind of, well, blown to bits. But we have America taking over China, and taking over the Empire of Japan, as well as they've landed on Japanese soil. Now, we have Italy here, actually. Let's take a look at the casualties real quick, just because, so we can explain this. So, America's lost quarter million. Italy, of all places, has lost over half a million. And Japan's lost around three million. So, even before we faded out the first or second time, I didn't realize that Italy invaded Burma. That's what we didn't know, or else I didn't really see it, because... Well, Italy and Burma have a very, very similar color palette, but Italy started the whole invasion of Southeast Asia. And then America was doing its island hopping campaign, in which they didn't, they completely avoided Indonesia. Well, because they're not in the, the co prosperity sphere. They've not invaded Japanese held Australia or New Zealand yet. But then they invaded China through Hong Kong first. Of course, of course, Italy was doing their thing in Southeast Asia, holding on until the Americans could invade Hong Kong. And then Macau, and then literally took out what was it Guangdong, Guangxi, took out J China, and then capitulated Manchukuo, and then invaded the Philippines of all places. Now they've also invaded Iwo Jima and Okinawa, and now obviously they've invaded and took over at Nagasaki. Now, as we saw just right now, Japan is about what is it, 29% towards capitulation. Well, all we have to get to is. 60% surrender progress, they'll have a month to race to capitulate Japan, and if they can't complete that, well, then the sun will never set upon the Japanese Empire. Let's let time go on right now, for at least for us personally, as this anarchic German country. Our GDP isn't doing too bad. Oh, even America invaded over here too. Nice. And they have another port as well, so we will see what happens. America's done very, very well, and of all people, Italy has done a great job. And also, Barry Goldwater was elected. Wallace is out, Barry Goldwater is in, and we have Reaganomics. Go figure. Gotta love it, right? Let's see, they have 140 divisions. A million manpower, they finally mobilized, it looks like a little bit more. As well as Japan. They got a lot of fuel. It's running out of fuel. They have plenty of enough manpower. So, we'll see what happens. Ikeda? <laughs> Daily political power loss. 0 0.01, 3% more stability. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens, because I've never seen this happen before, like America invading, and they're almost done with the Philippines as well. Cebu is the last part of the capital. It's so weird that they took out China first, and then they invaded Japan, which makes some sense, but... Uh, oh, man, we've got to keep an eye... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 70% of the way there. Can America take them out before they complete this focus? Ooh, ooh. I don't know, we don't know. I can't increase my intelligence agency level anymore. If they take Tokyo and Yokohama, they might be able to complete... Ooh, they made it up here as well. Aomori? Aomori? Ooh... They beat them! They beat them before the Japanese could launch their nukes! Hold on, is there going to be a peace deal? Oh, there's got to be a peace deal, right? North Borneo... But Bhutan? Um, they're in the co prosperity sphere. North Borneo, of course. Well, I guess it is possible for even the AI to take out the Japanese before they launch nukes across the entire world. Oh, wait. Italy? Um... Come on, guys. How did Italy get down there and then get trapped? Um. Oh, wait, no. Empire of Japan is not done yet. Oh, crap. Well, they lost the mainland. Yeah, they can't do this anymore, right? Has no, They have capitulated, so... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And there's still a little bit of Republic of China here. Let's take a look at the co-prosperity sphere. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say. Uh-oh. They're, they're coming back out. How do they get over? They must have pair dropped or something, right? If they can get to Kuchin, that'd be really good. Capitulate these guys, that'd be good. I hope they navel invade soon? Because I'm not really sure what to say anymore about this. Like, who's the last major power in the Japanese British War, World War III? Commonwealth are still over here. Um, everyone has capitulated except for Bhutan, who's not in the war even. It's just North Borneo. How are they considered a major power? That's literally the last nation here. They've up to three divisions. Oh, Italy has invaded again. Okay, so we'll see this. And I don't have to like fade in, fade out again, because that's kind of annoying. Nice. I love the GDP growth. If you guys could move on. They got the port. They got supplies. It's going to end soon. We'll see what happens with a peace deal, maybe. And I've never seen a Japan probably puppeted by America. And Italy invaded Formosa, the island of Formosa. 
Gold tension 100%. Uh oh, auto saving, cool. Let's see what happens. We have also other wars going on, but no one cares. North Bone is about to lose. And actually, 45%. The Italian Empire has done really well. 52%. Everyone else has done like nothing compared to like Italy and America, so. Of course, what do you expect? Come on. Sandicon? Sandicon? There they go. They're done, right? Is there, is there going to be a peace deal? Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully there is. Do we have to wait any longer? I mean, they're done. I mean, yeah, they have the Empire of Japan down here. And the capital of the Empire of Japan is Sydney. But... Please don't tell me this is glitched. They have not given up yet, but... There's no end of civil war, maybe? Oh! There's a little bit of lag. What's going on? No? No? Um... Maybe I'll try to figure out something off screen if there is going to be no peace deal. So I guess, once again, I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So there's really nothing that we can do, I suppose. I mean, I tabbed over to see America, but we have no decisions to, like, finish the war, um, like, annex them. So off screen, I decided to just annex Japan. And they're no longer in the war, obviously, but there's no way for us to actually, like, capitulate them. So, I guess this is not in the game yet. So I just straight up use cons commands annex Japan to see if we have an option to release Japan because I'd like to see like Japanese the, the, the Japanese puppeted by America and such. So, as you can tell, there's nothing we can do with the Japanese. Like, where is the Japanese here? I must have passed them already. My bad. Oh, and there goes the whole you know, oh broadcast whatever. Who cares? Nothing here for Empire of Japan. I mean, we have their islands and such, but there's no way to release them as a puppet, which really sucks, but I was hoping that there would be. But I guess not. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this little thing. I thought we would see World War III with Japan and America flinging nukes at each other, but regardless, hope you enjoyed the German Civil War and as well as the American-Japanese War that I guess will never end. At least it's the time of this recording. So, the Chinese American War. Regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.